All day I dream about beats. My bedroom was beginning to look like a bona fide studio, which was fitting because all I did day and night was dream about making music. There were wires snaking everywhere and machines. Most of them bought secondhand, stacked around my bed. More and more often, as soon as school was out, people would drop by to listen to me make beats and mix tapes for parties. One afternoon, Pharrell swung through. Whoa, when you, when you get this, he said, running his fingers along my new ASR-10. That's my baby, I said with a smile. We're about to get in. We're about to get in on for real. I can start making some serious beats now. You gotta let me check this out, Pharrell said, taking in the sleek console, the ASR-10 purchase, courtesy of my Liberty Mutual checks was the finest piece of recording equipment any of us own. Thoughts on what you just read? Man, I can relate to that as far as when he just said, you know what I'm saying, he, he's showing you the landscape of his room. Like, it was looking like a studio. You know, he got cords and stuff hanging around. And that's how my room, you know what I'm saying, look. Um, I didn't have all the equipment, you know, so I had the bare necessity. I had a laptop and I had, you know what I'm saying, my speakers. But, you know, I'll just deck it out with, you know, um, mixtape covers you know i collect mixtapes and just pull them around and you know every day man like folks folks love to watch me make beats too you know what i'm saying folks are swinging through the house i'll come outside with my speaker bluetooth speaker make beats for the kids and stuff everybody you know what i'm saying so um i can definitely relate to that there was nothing there's nothing else i can do besides coming home from school and you know some kids they used to hop on the game hop on playstation but i hop on and start making beats that's my video game you feel what i'm saying like that's what it really feel like to me making vi um playing video games when i make beats you know and far you know what i'm saying um how he was explaining how he felt about that asr 10 that equipment he had i remember getting my first media controller you feel what i'm saying and it was like Man, it's just like it made you happy on the inside, like knowing that you bought it. You know, he said he bought it with his uh, checks, you know what I'm saying? You know, his first checks or his checks that was coming in. So when I bought my first MIDI controller, it was like a feeling that you, you know what I'm saying, you'll never forget it. I went, you go from, you know what I'm saying, I got miles when I was like 15. You went from clicking on the mouse and playing around. Then you finally get a keyboard that you can plug in and start making beats on it. It just make you feel like you coming up. You feel what I'm saying? So... I understand what you're saying, Tim. You feel me? Now, obviously, he mentioned Pharrell mm -hmm. early on, so that you would easily assume that he was working with Pharrell mm -hmm. very early in his career, mm -hmm. uh, Tim and Pharrell. Um, when you were coming up, were you the loner type, doing a lot of stuff on your own, or did you have other producers and stuff you might have been working with mm -hmm. always, when you first started? Um, from the beginning to now, I've always been a loner. Um, I probably collab once or twice. And it's not even, you know what I'm saying, not like, oh, I don't want to work with him or I don't want to work with him. It's just I make my best music alone, vibing to myself, you know what I'm saying, in my own vibe, you know. So um, I'm not opposed to working with other producers, but I always uh, like working by myself, you know, just getting in my zone.